I guess it was worth the wait, folks. This new Bitcoin futures ETF absolutely on fire. It's become the biggest new ETF launch of the year uh, with record shattering volume pushing Bitcoin and nearly ent the entire crypto landscape uh, higher. I want to welcome back the guests who begged me to buy Bitcoin all the way back in 2017, maybe even early in Naomi Brockwell. So tell me and tell the audience, what does this mean, though, uh, for, for the future Bitcoin and ETFs? I mean, um, crypto, because I've heard some people saying that this might not even be the best thing that could, could happen for it. I think that an ETF is really exciting. To me, it just screams mainstream adoption. It means that people are taking this seriously. It suggests to me that, in particular, the SEC's stance on Bitcoin is becoming more bullish because if regulators are getting more comfortable with derivatives, you know, tied to this cryptocurrency, then it means that they're also getting more comfortable with the underlying asset itself. So, very, very bullish outlook for me in terms of Bitcoin. What would you tell the average investor? Uh, would it be Tay, to buy this ETF or just go out and buy Bitcoin? That's a great question. I mean, I will always tell people to go and buy the asset itself. I don't think anyone, anybody has any excuse not to these days because it's so easy. You can even just log into PayPal or Robinhood or Cash App or any of those. Or you could just create a, a, an account on Coinbase, link your bank account directly. It's so easy to get involved and get the actual asset that there's no excuse not to. But that being said, you know, I can't deny that there aren't some great tax benefits to getting an ETF. So if you, for example, wanted to invest in an ETF as part of your IRA, then you're not actually subject to pay capital gains on any increases in the price of Bitcoin in that IRA. So I just think that there are, you know, tax benefits like that that people should absolutely be taking advantage of. But as well, you should just, you should be holding the underlying asset as well. All right. Now, the other coins that uh, maybe uh, dummies like me who missed it despite someone knocking on the door for years, <laughs> telling them over and over to buy it. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? What's the mm -hmm. opportunity out there? Maybe ground flourish uh, that, that we should be looking at. Well, first of all, Charles, you have not missed Bitcoin. As long as the U.S. government continues to print astronomical amounts of money, people are looking to Bitcoin as a store of value. That isn't going away anytime soon. So you have not missed out on the Bitcoin train. I think that everyone should have exposure to Bitcoin. It's just a, a really vital part of everyone's portfolio.